Hey everybody, welcome to your reading here for the new nice week. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in if you are for the first time here on my videos. Um, so really welcome here. I'm doing uh, monthly readings and I'm always doing a song of the month. So this month, January, I just dedicated it to the sign of Capricorn. Um, actually, uh, officially on the tw 21st, somehow or 20 uh, second um, the energy of Capricorn is over and then we move uh, to the Aquarian energy and then uh, the, the Aquarius uh, people uh, will just have their birthdays uh, but still the January is just a sign for me, I just dedicated it to the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn is an earth sign. Uh, so if uh, you had birthday, happy, happy birthday here. And um, yeah, and thanks for watching. And is, this is an earth sign and that's why I'm doing a country tune for you guys. Because country is just very much like the earth energy here as a symbol. I'm a singer. Uh, for many years, uh, with a, I, I gradu graduated, <laughs> um, and I'm a teacher, singing teacher, and piano teacher also for many years, and I'm a very spiritual person. For over ten years, also I'm uh, doing everything with the tarot cards, also with the numerology. So these are really my my, my two things. I'm working also on, on a very very individual level with you. Just contact me if you want if you want to have one of these services um, wherever you are living we can also do everything online or just here private in Zurich in Switzerland at my place right mm, yeah so let's just move into your reading here guys so we have here uh, just different symbols i know that in the uh, usa and in england it's uh, or just in the english speaking area it's a very common to really work with the zodiac signs that you just have oracles for or just telescopes for let's say pisces for any sign um, I just uh, you know um, I got inspired here from the German speaking part of the world and I experienced that it's resonating this just uh, also very very good to do it like that like you will just see it okay just use your intuition please try to if you if 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 you uh, I don't know if it's not uh, not working for you so much you can also just choose a symbol that you like here we have the cards here in three different groups first here this wonderful uh, this is the first group then we have here the second group okay and we have here a nice stone the calcedon, the calcedon i think is the name for the third group and if you feel like one of the groups is like calling you in a way or you think like oh this one actually you know i have the feeling that uh, my reading for this week here is the right one okay then just trust that trust your intuition and just choose just simply choose um you can also choose uh, something that you just like as a symbol if nothing is calling you that could be also the case very often it's just resonating that's really really very freaky freaky <laughs> that's why i'm so fascinating about about that stuff um secondly this is also a general reading okay sometimes it can also not resonate because you have so many guys here of course so um but keep just that in mind mm that uh, it's just general and you can also say that this is a topic this is love this is money this is health this is whatever 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 and define it like that for you i just start reading right so i just start to read here for the first group we have the feather here for you guys so we have as the first card we have the chariot card so it could be that solutions come into any kind of issues or problems and uh, that looks really like good compromises good solutions in a, a theme here we have the financial stability which is beautiful it could be that you will have really some money here that could be money from your family even could be because we have two family cards the uh, ten of cups we have here and the ten of 
um, pentacles. It could be also that just money is coming in, that you have a very great job, that you may be um, traveling for a kind of job or for work. If you don't travel, then um, it could be just a very, very good thing to salute a problem, uh, which has to do with finances, because the finances are flowing here. It could be really, really that finances are coming your way here in this week, so congrats. <laughs> and uh, it could be that you can help your family with this money, or this money just comes comes from your family and uh, they just want to say you tell you that they really really love you okay because you know the ten of cups is just a very loving and caring energy here that could be also that you feel free because your finances are not the problem anymore to really live your romantic feelings towards a person or towards a goal which is also personally I'm working here with a tarot, with a crystal tarot, by the way, right? Beautiful cards from the Art Nouveau from Italy here and um, inspired by Gus, Gustav, Gustav, Gustav Klimt, all right? Your romantic and private life. Yeah, I just see that you have to work a little bit. Could be that you have to fight a little bit for a person or you have to prove somebody that you really love him or her. That could be a topic. Um, how does proving or this uh, in a way that you have to prove uh, in which way you have to prove it, I think you will know it. Could be that you kind of have to... Uh, improve some skills or just improve something on, on, on yourself or it could be that you have to really prove it uh, in front of this person call uh, there um, and really tell them that you love them for example that could be a thing like that uh -huh. all right let's move to the second group so group one thank you a lot and if you are just, you know, still looking here and uh, just still getting some information from the other uh, decks, then uh, you're welcome to stay tuned here. So we have here, I'm wearing that in the moment. It's nice. It's really a sugelid. I think this is the English name and the citrine. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know, you know, every uh, um, English name actually from every stone, but I know it in German. I'm actually here in this German speaking part of the world, how I mentioned already in Zurich. Switzerland and um, it helps really a lot. Maybe I will make a video over these stones really to explain you how stones uh, actually really work in a way which is actually quite weird. <laughs> okay so we have here for group two the three of cups. Yeah could be that you will really party on here or you will just you know uh, make some free time for friends for family and for flirts could be that you know you could be some more chances chances than only one flirt partner okay could be could be also a marriage could also be that you meet if you are a, a woman that you meet really a very very nice and gentle man and he can be very spiritual he can be also very artistic okay could be a water sign um, but it's not necessary okay could be also the characteristic of a water sign um, the king of cups here yeah if you are gay, for of course, this is also a man for you. And if you are uh, a man that actually loves a woman, just normal in a way, then it could be just that uh, you feel very romantic and very helping towards other people and very social just. And you have also just a lot of chances to meet nice women in general. We have here the fall in love card, all the illusions, all the visions. So it could be that because of this vision that you will have uh, in your dreams or just uh, because of any kind of meditation you will do maybe with King of Cups because King of Cups is very spiritual. Um, yeah, you will just know what is really necessary to work on to really, to really reach the goals you want to reach in your life but this card is also saying it could be that you think that you really wish those things here but you know what could be let's let's say it like that could be that you that you're looking for a big big house this is just a stupid example yeah i hope that you just get the message so uh, a big big house okay then you have this big big house you th you actually thought, oh, it will, will be so nice, you will have so much space, maybe so much light, maybe a big garden. And then you have a lot of work. Maybe this big house, you will just see like, okay, this is just, I just need actually more money to, to really pay for all this elec electricity, for the heating. You have to pay for everything. 
extra because it's just more to or just more to do and uh, you are just like cleaning it all the time because it's so big and that's what I mean like this this card is like saying you wish for something but do you really know for what you actually wish for or what you wish for is it worth to really put all that hard work in or is it maybe that you just because of this illusion here actually really um, work on something which is also good for you okay so this is really maybe a little bit a warning of this week like you could actually be so happy you are actually already there everything is there but uh, is it really that that different thing that you really want or does it just exist in your head it could be also that you actually um, fantasize over a man and it's more an illusion and not really a love that's existing it's may maybe more in your mind that could be also but the social factor and all this uh, flirts and all this just chances to really meet very good people here is there and that's your choice if you're gonna fantasize you can also fantasize but you know maybe maybe it's better to let something go but this is of course your decision and in a way how much it resonates at least this oracle with you okay this is group two thank you okay so we have the group three my dears with this very beautiful stone okay we have here the temperance card it's healing it's a uh, equilibrium it's a very nice balance health uh, the hierophant very spiritual i have the feeling that you really know how how to really have a good life and keep everything very very well in balance and i have the feeling that uh, that you have a very good let's say it work life balance <laughs> and everything's just so in order in your life okay you know everything is there some cash flow is there some um, relationships are there that are important and go to to the death it's very nice then we have the the hermit and i have the feeling that you could be really a very wise person could be that you are a very very spiritual person here and we have here the tower and i have the feeling that it could be that you will have here some problems that you th that maybe some changes will come here that could be actually a little bit stressy for you this is by the way the dark fairy tale tarot here yeah i'm pulling here the extra cards and spirit told me is telling me that i have to pull some two cards more you know what it could be the cards I want to tell you spirit wants to tell you that you have to walk your way in life alone maybe you are just too wise for everybody don't waste your time with just everybody I mean everybody is an individual and every life and everything has its worth God is everything yeah God is just everything, everything, everything you can touch, you can breathe, everything. Be alone. This is what, what I'm getting here. Be alone and just um, live a very, very safe life and try to make, make your lives as safe as possible and also financially. It could be that you break break free here or life is breaking you free and actually it could be that your destiny is also to walk alone in a way but you know what you have really really the chance or you already are wise that could be the, the one the second thing is that you are already having that you already have the contact to the spiritual world and it could be that you don't feel alone because when you really see you know that we are not alone there are all these entities there are these um ghost guides um everything just this uh, the spirit world is is around us and when you start communicating with that there will be no minute that you are alone that you feel alone no minute and i have the feeling that you know that because you are very very wise could be that you are just already there in the spiritual dimension where not everybody is 
Could be some changes here in this week, right? But I have the feeling that it's it's a really when you really stick into this spiritual world, you will never feel alone, and then will it will not bother you. This is what I'm getting here, guys. Right? Hmm. And if you just pulled it like a little bit like a theme of health, of money, of love, or whatever, it could be just that your your way is just uh, to make your own decision uh, to be responsible for your own health for example for your own finances and just you know uh, go the way you have to go and trusting yourself and your instinct and you are really guided because these two cards no this card is actually a card that is promising uh, protection this is a protection card and you don't need to be afraid here okay so thank you guys for watching, for sharing, liking and for subscribing. So um, I'm really um, looking forward to see you here again and also to the next videos. Now it comes here the song of the week. I'm uh, recording my voice here, you know, just with that microphone that I have, with my laptop that I have. I don't have here any big technique, right? So keep that in mind. I did my best on that and um, just enjoy the song and welcome again. Bye bye. Today they're 